Okay, now we are going to learn about the second method of updating database using Hibernate framework. So in the first method, we already learned how to update the database using Hibernate. So in the first method, uh, we just access uh, access the object and uh, we just change some properties of that object. And when we call the commit method, the Hibernate framework will automatically update the object. So in the second approach, we are going to change or we are going to update an object using by calling the update method using session object so here in our database now there are two rows of data are available first one is uh, first one with id 125 and second one with id 126 okay now i am going to update the second row of data that means the object with id 126 so how we can do it by calling the update method using the session object so for that here we need another method so I copy the, the same method that used in the previous episode I copy the same method so we have to change the method name I change it as update info 1 ok so we need configuration object also we need session factory object again here is the session object also we need the transaction object okay so here there is no need to access the object because we are not going to update the database by accessing the object we are going to create the same object again so I remove all this so for creating the new object we need an object of our POJO class our POJO class name is data provider so data provider dp equal to new data provider okay now here I'm going to create the same object again so here there is already an object available with the ID 126 so I'm going to create the same object again so dp dot set user id here the id is 126 so i'm going to assign the same id again so here actually we recreate the object again now i update the two fields so here the id remain the same and i'm going to update the other two field name and address so dp dot set username I change it as George okay also I'm going to change the address dp dot set user address I change the address as Kuchin okay now we can check it out so I'm going to run the project so right click that so okay before going to run it we have to call that method from the main method okay here I'm I, we have to call that method our method our new method name is update info one yeah this one okay uh, now we can run our so it's got so I'm going to run the Java class data in session dot Java run as Java application now we can check it out on the console oh, okay it shows the data base updated successfully we can check it out on our database so now the second row is ID 126 name Thomas and address is TRVM so I'm going to select the data okay it is not updated there is something mistake on our code we have to check it out okay we forget the main step here we have to call the update method using session factory for uh, getting the database updated so using the session factories object using the session object session dot there is a method called update and pass that object here the object is dp 
Okay, now the database is get updated when we call the commit method. Okay, now we can run it again. Data insertion of Java. Run as Java application. Okay, now we can check on the database. Select start from user info. Okay, now the database is now get updated. Okay, so there are two methods are available for updating a database using Hibernate. First one is you can get the object and you can modify some properties of that object and when you call the commit method, the database will automatically get updated by Hibernate. So in the second approach, you can create the same object again and you can modify some properties and uh, you have to call the update method using such a session object and pass that object as an argument to the update method so the database will get updated.